morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your car. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Today is November 28th. Welcome to today's Zero DTE live stream. Got the S&P down seven, NASDAQ down 35, Russell working on unchanged, Dow just went slightly green, gold and silver a little bit green, notes and bonds a little bit red, 10-year yield up a quarter percent. Oil up 1%, natty gas down 2%, soybeans, wheat, and corn all slightly green, euro and the pound slightly green, Bitcoin up 2%, VIX up about 1.5%. So for me today, I'll be doing my AM ratio. Uh, I'll be doing JSPs if we push above the open. Got to close out my 1-3 DTE double calendar from yesterday. Uh, I'll be doing my re-entry iron condors today as well. DKS a little bit later this morning. Quiet lunch potentially. Uh, PM iron condor potentially. So that is the plan for today. Got about three minutes till the market opens. We will most likely make this a fairly short live stream. Get on my first couple trades. Any questions, topics, or anything anything you all want to discuss, discuss I'm happy to. Otherwise, I'm going to make it a short stream, get off and kind of continue with my planning for my December plan, getting that put together. Before the freeze, it looked like my one three DTE was pretty flat, maybe, maybe a might be able to book a tiny profit on that one. We've got a 5.7 where the back test is pretty similar closing out end of day today or tomorrow. So towards the end of the day, I'll decide if I want to close out my 5.7 today or give it some more time. Yeah, I've got the early one. Oh, actually, today, yeah, you're right. Both of them are at the same time, aren't they? Um, yeah, they're both 10.50. So, yeah, good point. I meant to uh, have a note about that. I need to go to Trade Steward and pick which one. So let's see here. One uses a $3 credit, one uses a $4 credit. 
four dollar credit has a twenty six stop. Yeah, so I'll turn off my uh, the one that's every day except Thursday, and I'll do my normal um, Tuesday one is what I'll do. So well, let me uh, I'll adjust my my bots here in a minute. <clears throat> All right, market is open. My so my Tuesday AM ratio is the early exit version. So we'll only be in that for about 20, 29 minutes. It'll start trying to enter here in about 30 seconds. <clears throat> Should be the 55 calls and the 40 puts. 15 wide for AM ratio. We've had power hours wider than this, my friends. <clears throat> Vic's still a little bit below 13. All right, it's coming in at the 55s and 35s. So 20 wide. It's canceling and replacing. Filled at 1645. That's on the 55s and 35s. <clears throat> now we've got to push above the open for my JSPs to trigger. So we've got to get above probably like 45, 48 here in the next uh, 12 minutes or so for my JSPs to trigger. Otherwise, they will not be traded today. Oh, yeah, so I already did. Um, Krish, going back to your comment about the uh, quiet lunch. So I will, <clears throat> yeah, I set, I set my other one up to, uh, so it didn't overlap on Tuesday. So, yeah, I'm doing the one with the collecting the $3 credit. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to share my bots yet until I get them all worked through. I just I'm not comfortable. I got to I want to work through them so I'm not sharing something that's not correct. So expected move to start the day currently a little over 15 yeah of course you had 1550 
So we opened up today at 45.50. All right, so here comes my re-entry trade coming in. So I just set it up to come in about five minutes after the bell. So there's, there's always going to be some correlation with my AM ratio, but that's okay. I'm fine with the size. I'm doing those re-entries pretty small, just a couple, couple, couple lots, two lots of the three, two. So that one got filled at the 50 strike on the calls and the 35 on the puts. We got price pushing up. So if we push up two or three points here, JSPs will trigger. Yeah, Chris, it's just like any other bot where you have multiple. Uh, oh, for the JSPs? No, there's only one profit target. It's only one bot. Yeah, for the re entry, it's two. Anytime you have multiple profit targets, you got to have multiple bots. Yeah, White Tiger. So the re-entry is something I talked a little bit about on Power Hour yesterday. Um, it's not. It, it's something that I'll be talking about in my December trade plan, which I'll share here in a couple within the next couple of days. It's basically just putting on a trade, um, and if it gets stopped or it hits the profit target, then you immediately re-enter. So it's just kind of you know as price moves around, you're. You're kind of playing ping pong around with price. I'll share some more details about that. All right, so SPX coming back down. So at this point, it doesn't look like the JSPs are going to trigger. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sharing all my bots for you, Trade Steward users. I'm just... I just want to make sure that I'm working through some of the nuances before I do so. And I got to exit my one three. So looks like I can get out for a tiny profit right now. Build at eleven sixty. So let me post that. So got in at eleven fifty five out of eleven sixty. Five cent winner. Yeah, we do have some a bundle of Fed speakers today. Looks like uh, 30 minutes after the bell, we've got Goolsby, then Waller, then Bowman, then Barr, and then Barr again later this afternoon. Tomorrow, pre-market preliminary GDP. 
And then November uh, Thursday, all day, there's an OPEC meeting. And then pre-market core PCE and unemployment data. Friday, 30 minutes after the market, we've got ISM manufacturing. And at 10 a.m., Jay Powell speaking. Due to participate in a fireside chat titled Navigating Pathways to Economic Mobility at Spelman College in Atlanta. Nothing like a good fireside chat with Powell. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Love a good fireside chat with Powell. Yeah, fired side is at 10 a.m. Central. Do I think Powell's good at his job? Uh, I do. I, I actually do. I make fun of him a lot, but I actually think he's, I mean, compared to Bernanke and uh, what was her, what was the female's name? Um, Yellen. Compared to those two, I think he's great. He's just, he's, you know, the thing that I like about it, he's just, he's so like forthcoming in what they're going to do. There's, you know, I just remember with Yellen and Bernanke, there were so many surprises. Whereas he's, he, at least he, you know, it appears to me like he really tries to let you know, like, hey, here's what we're going to be doing. Even if the market doesn't listen sometimes, like rates higher for longer. I mean, he was, he didn't, he didn't, uh, there was no, there was no surprise. I mean, he, he, he said that's what was going to happen. Um, so I think he's, I, I think he's been a lot more transparent and forthcoming than previous. JP is like Steve. I mean, that's a tough job too, you know. I mean, I don't know. I, I think he I think he does as good as anybody could. Now the argument of whether we should have a central bank that acts in the ways that they do in general, that's a different argument, but All right, so it looks like no JSPs. Never pushed above the open. Enough for that to trigger. So we've got about a minute. So it doesn't look like that's going to happen. All right, so I was going to mark my uh, expected move for the day. So we opened at 45 and a half, so 30 and a half to the downside. So 
60 and a half to the upside. Yep, be more trader. Uh, if it's in my trade plan, it's on. So I've put on a uh, my Tuesday AM ratio trade, which on Tuesdays is an early exit one. So I'll be closing that out here in less than 15 minutes. And then the JSPs did not trigger, so not in that. And then I did put, uh, which will be, probably part of my December plan. I did a re-entry trade, which is basically just a 3-2 AM ratio that I'm putting on every day. If it gets stopped or profit target hit, re-enter. So just those two trades so far. Plan to do a quiet lunch if things stay quiet. Plan to do a PM iron condor if it qualifies. All those can be found in my trade plan for November. I'm going to stay on here until we exit our AM ratio trade. So here another 15 minutes or so. So for the uh, Tuesday AM ratio, I've got a profit target at 30%, but that usually doesn't quite get there by the time that one closes out. So whatever the profit or loss is at that point, it's just a close. Yeah, we kind of crashed up in November tomorrow. Nothing like a good crash up. VIX crash down. That was a pretty epic collapse. From 23 to 12 in less than a month. Look at the volatility of, vol of the VIX creeping up, though. Yeah, White Tiger, I can do that. I mean, the you know, the bottom line is, you know, all the all the strategies I trade for zero DTE are backed up by a backtest. And so, you know, assuming I'm assuming you have um option omega. It's really Okay. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely critical if you're trading zero DTE, but um, you know, so all the criteria of the strategy is laid out on the back test. So, but what, what's, what's specifically in addition, so I'm not going to go through each individual strategy and just kind of go over the back test, but what, what kind of specific basics or or newbie language like you said what what do you what are you looking for exactly yeah I'll, I'll definitely explain why why i'm doing things differently in december if they if there's any change
yeah, any entry, any entry condition is also on the back test. I mean, I, I'll give you an example right now. So for example, my JSPs just sell puts. So let me update this here. So, um, so the way that this works, just so you kind of, so, you know, all the entry conditions are obviously right here and I'm not sure how much, you know, so if I'm, if this is too basic for you, I apologize, but I just want to make sure you understand all the entry conditions of the strategy are laid out right here on the back test. So for example, for JSPs, this is something that I open within the first 15 minutes after the market opens. Right, 932 is the earliest time that you can put in option Omega up to 945 a.m. This is every day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Use exact DTE. That means we're just using zero DTE. Use exact strike offsets. So I'm looking at the 45 delta and buying a put 80, 80 points below that. Um using four contracts. So if I if I say 100% of portfolio, that just means that I'm going to be limiting my um, size based on the number of contracts. So that'd be here for. Uh, so then the criteria I'm looking for at the open is I want SPX to gap down a minimum of 0.1%, but a max of 0.5. So basically we're looking for a small gap down, right? Which is Which is what happened today, right? We gapped down... 0.11%. So that's between 0.1 and 0.5, right? So that criteria fit. But then what I want is I want to move up of a minimum of 0.05%. So it's basically a gap down, but I want price to push above the open for it to for it to get in. So that didn't happen, right? We opened and we just been kind of chopping below the open. And, and the reason that filter is there is just because, in fact, uh, Dan B in the community here is one that kind of helped uh, with that filter. Um, it filters out some of those, a lot of those trades where prices gaps down and continues to run lower. So we want a little gap down, but we want price to kind of push above the open a little bit before that triggers. So that's that's the entry conditions right there. And then in this case, I start with a 200% stop loss, profit target of 50%. If um, if if we get to a 20% profit target, I'm not closing any out, but I'm going to reduce my stop from 200 to 100. So that's that's how the, the criteria is kind of laid out for these. And so it's really just a matter of looking at the back test. So that's why I say I'm not, you know, every every monthly update, I'm not going to go through and and um, you know, go through every every exit and entry criteria, but it's all it's all right here for you. Now we do have some strategies that have more in-depth courses, like the reverse iron condor. There's the one on the morning entry, I've got the one on power hour, you know, that warrant a little bit more in-depth, but some of these there's not really a need for a course. It's just it's all kind of laid out here. Yep, exactly, Dave S. Yep, yeah, um, you know, and this kind of came about based on the zero DTE duck that I was trading that Aten Ra had uh, come up with. And then uh, he started talking about a ratio duck. And I started looking at it. I was like, man, that, that's almost just like a vertical spread. So, you know, so I started testing around this. And it's like, man, that's pretty simple. You get a small gap down. Um, you know, a lot of times price just makes a move higher is what it is what it came down to. Now you can see here of the recent, you know, we've had some had some losses here. It wasn't as wasn't as great as it had been, but still, still very valid.
Yeah, you know, so like selling premium, if you do some testing around like AM iron condors, what you're going to find is that they just perform better if volatility doesn't make a big overnight contraction. You know, so you'll see a lot of tests with a VIX filter, VIX overnight filter of 0.25% or better, meaning we don't want VIX to be down more than 0.25% at the open. If it is, you know, volatility is already contracted, selling premium in the morning, it just, it doesn't work as well. And so that's why you'll see some back tests that have, that have that filter on it. Um, you know, and then with like the reverse iron condor, you know, we want volatility to have already contracted. So that has a, we want a minimum VIX contraction of at least a quarter of a percent overnight to put that one on. And so when you're, when you start doing that testing, you'll start to understand, you know, those are just, those are, those filters are there because that's how it performs best when those environments are met. My blackout dates are just um, FOMC. Yeah, be more trader that that 0.05%. That was just I was looking for a minimal move above the open. So anytime you do like a move up or a move down, that's based on from where price opens. And so I mean you could look at 0.02% or 0.07%. Yeah, I mean I I don't I try not to get that granular with my back test just because I don't want to you know, I just want to have a pretty, you know, just a, just a basis for the strategy. Yeah. White tiger. If you look at the, uh, let's see, I think it's in the zero DTE course. Yeah. It's the, when you just click on the zero DTE course, it's right above the power hour course. You'll see a little loom overview and, that was uh, one of our members, Otten Ra, put those together so you can get the shared links from Toss that are right there as well. And my AM ratio is about to close out. It is currently up 10%, as you can see here. Nine percent. So that is set to close at 8:59 my time. So it'll start trying to close that here in about a minute. We can get a tiny bounce, get a little bit more profit in there before we exit. My re-entries are also up a little bit. Yeah, uh, Lasoza, it's just a matter of they don't, they just don't test as well. They just have not performed as well on Tuesdays. Now that's one of those things where it's kind of like, for me, it's, is that really a Tuesday thing or is that over-optimized? And, um, all right. So my AM ratio Tuesday just closed out. Let's see what the final tally is here. It It always goes red for a second till it updates. All right, so book twelve point two percent, uh, plus eight hundred bucks on the AM ratio. So I'm out of that. So I'm still in my re-entry here. Yeah. So let's say what I was saying is. 
you know, I'm, I, I'm kind of, I, I go back and forth on whether day of the week strategy like that is really valid or if it's, you know, just kind of overfitted. But I talked about, I don't know if you were on the power hour stream yesterday. I talked a little bit about this where, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to continue to do both. You know, if I, if I have confidence in a back test or strategy in general, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to continue to trade it, you know, based on the back test. Um, but I also am doing things like the re-entry now where, where, you know, I'm just going in every day, rinsing, repeating, rinsing, repeating. So it kind of plays on both of those, both sides of the logic of those fences. So I did my AM ratio, did my one three. I'll be getting in a DKS here in about 24 minutes. Quiet lunch a little bit later. But I'm going to go ahead and jump off here, my friends. We will be back for Power Hour Live at 1.50 p.m. Central. Everyone have a fantastic day. We'll chat with you soon. Take care.